Don Lane Chill TV, and we are talking with Rick Green, uh, former mayor of the township of Langley, but also uh, another pet project of his. And you have heard about Rail for the Valley. And Rick, I guess we have to explain there's Rail for the Valley, and then there's your people, but you're trying to get to the same common goal. Yeah, fair enough. What we are is the South Fraser Community Rail Society, which we formed about two years ago. Um, on our society and with us is Patrick Condon, the UBC professor, Bill Vanderzam, and we have a, a group of directors of about six in number. Um, we deal basically in the Langley, Surrey area uh, into Abbotsford. Uh, we work very closely with Rail for the Valley Group in Chilliwack. Uh, how did you get Bill Vanderzam involved in this? Because as soon as you bring up his name, either people love him or hate him, and there's no middle ground. Oh, there's no question about that. Bill is, um, Bill is the reason we're here. Right. Uh, Bill's government in 1988, uh, the president of BC Hydro went to Bill Vanderzam and his cabinet and said, we wanted to sell the, uh, the freight, the freight um, uh, business that BC Hydro had and we're operating. Um, but he says, you know, so they wanted to sell it. And Bill and his ministers, Jack Davis, who was the Minister of, um, of Energy, said, well, you know what, we're not, we don't want to sell the corridor. We want to protect that for passenger rights and for future use, but we'll sell the freight rights and we'll sell the rolling stock. So that's basically what, all that was sold back in 1988. The, and we've seen the maps over the last few years. Is this the old BC Rail or can, is there an idea of, of going down Highway 1? Uh, although there's a couple of overpasses where I just can't see where you could physically do that. What is in a general way, the plan, if this actually comes to fruition? Well, let's deal with reality. The reality is it's affordability. Highway, a highway one option is not going to happen. It's just not going to happen because of cost. Uh, take SkyTrain. SkyTrain right now is costing roughly $200 million per kilometer. We're talking this at about $12 million a kilometer. Uh, Bill, uh, Bill Van der Zandt's government protected the passenger rights on this corridor. It's 99 kilometers. People say, well, it sort of meanders through the valley, and who does it really connect with? It connects with 16 communities, municipalities, and cities, 14 post-secondary uh, institutions, the uh, Abbotsford Airport, industrial parks, Stolo First Nations. Um, it is what it was created for. It opened up the valley back in 1906-1910. It's an operating rail line today. Uh, a few years back, and I remember this vividly, Jordan Bateman at the time was with Canadian Taxpayers uh, Federation, and you just alluded to this. His concern was critical mass. Uh, SkyTrain stations are fairly close to each other, so the expense is just justified. The distance in between said stations, if this becomes a reality, is this financially feasible? And who would pay for it? The taxpayer, private uh, uh, ownership? How would this work? As, you mean as far as the, the, um, the interurban corridor reactivating yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, this is really up to, up to government. But what we're proposing is one thing that has not been addressed in the lower mainland, and I argued this when I was a member of the Transit Mayor's Council, we do not have interregional transportation and transit. Uh, we have these two fiefdoms. Uh, one is Transit that looks after Metro Vancouver. One is BC Transit that looks after everything else. Uh, the reality is we need, we don't need um, rapid transit. Rapid transit is only a figment of how many stops you make it. This, this particular unit we're talking about, hydrogen rail, which also fits into the environmental component of this, um, this thing is, um, will go up to about 120 clicks. We're talking about probably 80 clicks. Uh, it'll take 90 minutes to go from Chilliwack into the Patella Bridge. Uh, SkyTrain station, it connects there. We're talking 14 stops. Uh, it, it just makes abundant sense. This could be a turnkey operation in three years' time. You mentioned the hydrogen uh, aspect. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Is that technology being used in Germany, I believe, or somewhere in Europe? Yes, and it was back in 2017. Uh, it was in the, the start of the election campaign back then. We met with John Horgan through some contacts we had when he was just starting his campaign. Uh, we presented our um, a Shaw documentary that we had produced back in 2010 when I was in the mayor's office. Um, and what we had learned since then is in 2017, 2016, uh, Germany, Alstom, um, which is a French, uh, uh, major French corporation, they were producing a hydrogen component. It's actually Canadian technology. It's the, the, the uh, energy component of that is produced in Mississauga, Ontario. Uh, and they went worldwide to find out the best technology available for hydrogen rail. 
So this was, uh, this was produced. It is in active operation, paid operation in Germany right now. Uh, they've just uh, finished off a, um, uh, an expansion and a test market in Holland. Holland have, have bought into it. They're, I think they're buying something like a dozen trains. Uh, they have got, uh, they're inundated with orders throughout Europe. And now the UK are seriously looking at converting to hydrogen and converting. So refitting diesel units, but also bringing in new hydrogen units. Uh, you were touching base on how this would all be paid for and hopefully up and running in, in three years. The current BC director of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, Chris Sims, um, as I mentioned to her that we were going to have this conversation, she was curious to know not only the funding, but would you your people be willing to make sure there there is sponsorship? Do we see Budweiser on the side of the, 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 the train? Just you know, pulling well, a name out of the hat, but that type of a naming right, could it, that at least pay some of the bills? Oh, absolutely. And, and look, what we're talking about is, and, and really think about this, we're talking about a 99-kilometer rail line. It's, a, it's absolutely intact. It's absolutely operational. It, it, it does not require any upgrades as far as that is concerned. Obviously, we need road gates and what have you. We're talking $1.3 billion for 99 kilometers. Uh, the... Uh, rail line or the sky train from Surrey Centre to Langley City is $3.5 billion, 16 kilometers. Okay. Uh, where are we going now? Is there, are, do we have permits? Do we have uh, other uh, presentations or are we kind of in a holding pattern because of COVID? Well, it's certainly COVID has sort of knocked it off the tracks a little bit, but one of the things that we have been doing for uh, and our, our group, our society, has been campaigning for for about four years. Is we wanted to a, a task force developed, uh, and second to that, a study done on transportation and and housing south of the Fraser. We were successful in getting that accomplished uh, just prior to COVID. It was announced by the provincial government in the throne speech and the budget. Uh, that they are introducing a, uh, a, a very significant study south of the Fraser when we're going to discuss all the transit needs, all the intricacies of it, what will be required, including housing for south of the Fraser. So we're talking everything from Chil Chilliwack down to, down to Surrey. Uh, Rick, if somebody wants to find out more information, uh, look for you on Facebook or Rail from the Valley? or No, I'd go to uh, www.southfrasercommunityrail.com. Dot .ca. Dot .ca. Yeah. We have a, um, um, a very in-depth website. Everything that uh, contact information, everything is there. And if you'd like to donate, we'd welcome your donations. Rick, this won't be the, uh, the last conversation. And uh, next time, uh, tell Mr. Vanderzam to come by. We'd, uh, we'd love to have both of you on the show. Excellent. We'll do that for sure. Uh, gentlemen, very much involved with Rail for the Valley, Rick Green. I'm Don Lane. You're watching Chill TV.